right around the world. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. All right, yesterday for Tuesdays here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, we had a two-part video series on system build. Well, no, it's not system building, is it? That's not the right terminology. System refurbishment, I think is how we'll put it. Of that little Zeus W6F laptop notebooky thing for the other half, as a travel laptop notebooky thing, save her lugging around her big Acer laptop. Now, if you haven't seen both of those videos yet, I suggest you go watch them first. I'll leave a link up there for them as always. But as we saw, we installed, we well, we booted it up. I got everything off it that was mine. Windows 10 loaded up. We blew away Windows 10, installed MX Linux 19.4 XFCE, which she currently runs on her big Acer laptop. Got it all updated and upgraded, and initially it seemed to work quite well. Well, that was yesterday. Last night, though, yeah, it didn't work so well. She tried out both her streaming services that she subs to, and, uh, well, no, the RAM was getting absolutely slammed. Now, I mentioned yesterday that 2 gig of RAM on MX19.4 should be enough. First off, it's Debian. So Debian works perfectly well. 64-bit Debian works perfectly well on 2 gig of RAM. Yeah, not, not so squeezy. So I said to her, all right, look, we're going to have to do something. And that something is we're going to have to add more RAM. As you can see in the background, it's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And for this one, well... Hopefully that unit has two DIMMs, and if so, hopefully, at least at the bare minimum, I can take it up to three gig. Ideally, four would be good, but if I can only add another gig, then that's better than just having two gig in the system. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for Midweek Wednesday and a bit of a follow-up video to yesterday's two-parter on that uh, Asus W6F laptop notebooky thing for the other half as a bit of a travel laptop notebooky thing. Uh, save her lugging around, as I said, her big Acer laptop. Now, I mentioned yesterday that I thought it had run all right. On 2 gig of RAM, it, 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 it ran YouTube fine at 1280 by 720 which is lower quality HD, okay, compared to that of, say, 1920 by 1080 which is standard HD. Yeah, it didn't work so well. The, true, the two streaming services, I'll try and talk, really were lagging, and I had a look at the RAM, and it was getting belted. So my theory at the moment is it's clearly hardware, so I want to add at least one more stick of RAM and at least another gig to take it to three gig. Now, ideally four, right? That's working on the assumption that little Zeus has two DIMMs. If it has only one DIMM, eek, we could be in trouble. We won't jump to any conclusions. So what we're going to do, we're going to flip that laptop over. It's back down here. I'm going to take the back off it and we're going to see if, we can, if it's got two DIMMs if it has two DIMMs, I'm going to at least add another stick of RAM to it. I think I've got some RAM that'll fit that little laptop and take it up to four gig. Um, for the other stuff that she does on her main laptop, so her courses and email and Facebook and social media and all that stuff, it ran fine. But once you start and YouTube, uh, yeah, it sort of ran all right. A video like I make, it seems to be all right, but when you start getting into the stuff that she watches on YouTube, which is like all the ghost hunting stuff and, and, and uh, urban exploring stuff and all that, it really started to struggle, particularly the fact that it kept going to 1440p for some reason. I don't know why it kept doing that. So what I want to do, I want to add some more RAM and see if we can at least get it to 3 gig as a bare, bare minimum. This is on the assumption it has two DIMMs. If it has one DIMM, I've got to go find one 4-gig stick of RAM. Hopefully I've got one. But anyway, so let us uh, let me grab the video camera, the SD card. Let's head back over to our little work area behind the TV here. And let's see if we can get some more RAM into that Asus W6F laptop. Let's get into it. 
All right, so it's either going to be under here or under here. Let's try this one first, shall we? I'm trying to work around the camera here. I suppose the upside is at least you don't get to see my great big ugly mug on camera. <laughs> All right, ooh, let's come out. Let's put that on there. Thought these would have been captive screws, but they're not. Hmm. Interesting. No, that's the hard drive. <laughs> ah, bugger. All right. Okay, so I undid the wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> oh, tell you what. Don't... I'm not sure what's wrong with me at the moment, guys. I really don't. My videos are getting worse, not better. You'd think they'd be getting better after all these years on YouTube, and they're actually getting worse. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have to try and find the RAM. Alright. Whoa. That didn't work so well. I'm trying to work around the camera here, everybody, so... <coughs> I'm not having a lot of luck. Can't even get the screw to sit on the screwdriver for crying out loud. Good grief. Alright. <coughs> What's behind door number two? Let's have a look, shall we? Maybe this is RAM. <laughs> I say maybe, I don't guarantee it. Alright. What's behind door number two? Ram! Alright. So, let's see what we've got in here. We've got one dim or two, I think it's only a single dim. Damn, that's not, that's not ideal. Yep, she's a single dim. Oh dear. Alright, we need to see if I've got RAM. It's not looking good. It's DDR2. Bugger. Not ideal, guys. I'm just going through my RAM stocks at the moment. See what I've <laughs> see what I've got in the way of RAM. Um, that's yeah, that's not ideal. That's actually disappointing. I was hoping it would be a uh... aha. Hang on, we might be saved. We might be saved here. Oh no, we're not. Damn, what a bugger. All right, um, let's just turn this around. Let's make sure there is only one dim in there. It looks like it, doesn't it? Where are you? There you are. So, it's a single dim unit by the looks of it. What's that? Oh, that's solid. Uh, okay, well, what have I got? <laughs> that's DDR2. Oh, let's undo the big Acer. See what it's running. Here's my big, beautiful, dual hard drive Acer. doesn't work anymore. Uh, that's, uh, that's a DDR3. That's no good to me. Um, I'm trying to see what RAM I'm trying to see if I've got I can pillage any RAM out of any other laptops at the moment guys and I'm not having a great deal of uh, a great deal of luck unfortunately alright I tell you what let me um, let me see what I've got lying about I'll 
Let's see if I've got any laptops lying about the DDR2, and we'll see if we've got some RAM in, in there. Even a three gig stick would do me. Hang on. All right. Well, this is not what I wanted to hear. Um, that is the only DDR2 stick of RAM I have. Uh, I don't have any other RAM lying about. It's all DDR3, which is not ideal, unfortunately. That's not even in properly. Hang on. That is, I think. Yeah, that is. Okay. So, well, actually, hang on a minute. Is that actually an IDE hard drive? I think it might be. Let me just have a look. Because if it's a SATA drive, I think it's IDE. I think I saw the IDE interface in there. Hang on a minute. Yeah, no, that is IDE. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell that's IDE. That's not SATA. Yeah, no, that's not SATA. This thing, there's a couple of pins just here that are plugging in, so it is IDE. Okay. Um, Alright, well, I guess what I might have to do is she may have to watch it at standard def, uh, which is unfortunate. So, um, she's watching YouTube, that's 480 uh, here in Australia, it's uh, 5, 720, 720 by 576, which is what I think uh, Stan runs at, I could be wrong. Um, but as far as YouTube's concerned, she'll, uh, she'll have to watch YouTube at... 480. Not, not ideal, believe you me. I'm not, I'm certainly not happy. I was hoping that uh, there was two dims in there, but there's only one. So not exactly ideal, but it means I've got to make some, you know, modifications to things for her. Which may include, unfortunately, uninstalling Firefox and possibly either putting Falcon or Ice Weasel on it for a, something lightweight like that, which may end up having to have, which may end up being what I have to do. But aside from that, I mean, it works beautifully. We saw that yesterday, but uh, it's just. It's just a tad too slow. Let's bring it up. Ah, battery's knackered on this. Luckily I've got other batteries, but the battery's absolutely shot on this. Let's get into the BIOS just quickly. Let's get into the BIOS. So it's 1.8 gig Intel Core 2 Duo. So it's it's not it's not slow. By any stretch of the imagination, it's not slow. I mean, it's a pretty bog standard um, mega trends, but it's not two gig of RAM. Uh, 
you know, look at that, even the um, DVD drive is uh, is IDE. Okay. All right. Let's just let's see how quickly this boots. Let me just go and grab my phone so we can actually time at this. Grab me phone. Alright, let me just reset it. Okay, so let's see how quickly this boots up. So let's pretend it's powered up. No, that's that's not gonna work. Hang on a minute. That's not gonna work. <laughs> that's not that's not the right way. All right, let's let's do it this way. So I've got my hand on the power button and my hand on the start button. No, oh, that didn't work either. Hang on. Let's start that again. Ah. Ah. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Oh, I haven't done the... Okay, I still haven't done grub yet. Now you've got to remember, the other half is not, you know, like myself, the other half has patience, okay? Most people by now would be having, you know, total SH1T fits about, you know, 40 seconds before you can use your computer. The other half waits, right? You know, she, she doesn't need to see how long we take to get to a login. Yeah, about a minute already. All right. So, a little slow, but I mean, who cares? It's a travel laptop. It's not like she needs to... She can wait. I'll tell you when we get to the login screen. I won't show the login details. Okay. One minute 42. So, a little slow. Alright, so it takes a minute 42 to get to the login screen. Uh oh, hang on guys. Oh boy. I just got into a world of trouble then, guys. I forgot the other half was starting work a bit earlier this morning. Uh, I parked the car behind hers last night, and I forgot to move it. Uh, yeah, anyway, all right. Username and passwords in. All right, so what, what we're going to do now is see how long it takes to log in. You ready? Let's go. There we go, almost in, we should be in shortly. As she said to me last night, she's quite happy just for this thing to boot up, you know, there we go. All right, 31 seconds, 31.96 seconds, so 32. So basically a minute and a quarter. Now to most people, they're gonna have a complete SH1T fit and your normal person will not wait. That's too slow for them. As the other half said to me last night, okay, it does what she wants it to do, it works, that's all she cares about, 
is the fact that it actually works and works properly. Okay, it'll suffice for what she wants to do. Remember, this is just a travel laptop. Okay, this isn't going to do the heavy work like her main laptop does. This is for her to take up to Bendigo or when we go down, you know, along the southwest coast of Victoria or whatever. It's just so she can check her emails, maybe watch a bit of YouTube, so on and so forth. But what I will do is uninstall a heap of stuff off this laptop. Okay, stuff that she's not going to use, like the games. Um, I might uninstall Firefox and put Ice Weasel on it for her instead. A far lightweight browser. Try and ease it up, or maybe even Falcon. I think Falcon's available for MX 19.4. I'll have to check it. But apart from that, she said it's absolutely perfect for her. Now, if she's happy for this to be a travel laptop that she can just take away when we go away. She's not having to lug around the big, the big laptop. She doesn't care. All right. All she needs to be able to do is her online study, and I might actually, once I, well, I'm not going to log into her streaming services now here on YouTube. Um, that'll be an instant copyright strike. Um, I might change them to either run 480 slash 576 or get rid of Firefox and put either Falcon or Ice Weasel on it for her. At least then it's done. So that's a bugger. I was hoping we could upgrade the RAM, but we can't. <sighs> that's a shame. Anyway, oh well. Look, it'll do what she needs it to do. That's the main thing she wants. So there we go. Anyway, there we are. That's it for Midweek Wednesday here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. I'll catch you around the channel tomorrow for a, well, very short Thursday ahead of Pro Audio Fridays. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.